Oh my god, hello, what's crack? Long time no freaking speak. You do not understand my times that I have started this. Oh, I don't even want to talk about it, honestly. Oh, there's my grand home, and for what reason? He had oatmeal on a Friday. Look at him flying. Look at that. Make a meat in the Dutch. I'm way to work. Huh? I deviated, eh? Okay, well. Uh, she's in there. She's up. Hi. So, in the end, not my phone was like, I, I actually hope that I'm able to record this with no problems. Or I will genuinely have a mental breakdown. I might be joking, I actually will crack up today. My phone kept being like, oh, you've got no storage, you've got no storage, you've got no storage. And I was like, I have 100 pictures. I upload them all, upload them all to iCloud. This is what I do to do YouTube. And like, I know I keep being like, oh, I'm going to get a camera, but using some, I'm not going to get a camera this time. I can be consistent, but I also can't be consistent unless I get got my phone sorted out. Do you know what I mean? Do you see the problem? Guys, being like, I'm not going to splash 500, 500 on my camera, and like, not, like you know, not be consistent with YouTube because there's no way because um, literally I broke and I shouldn't like catch up. I don't think I've been on here now. I have in my last video. I was saying about how I'm planning to do my masters. Well, I'm actually going to do my masters. I got accepted in to Ulster. Um, I applied to Queens in Ulster, and then um, I really want to do my marketing. I'm doing marketing, did I say that? Laura and Emily are going and apparently Ulster's really, really good for marketing. So I've known a few uh, girls who's went there before. So I was like, right, I had just had my heart set in it. And then, oh my God, I can't even explain to you how I felt when I got the email. I was like, thank God. But I basically, I couldn't record my phone. So then I took it down. Long story short, I was being a dick and I kept all my YouTube videos on iMovie, but like I thought that they were gone because I deleted them off my iPhone. And if you use iMovie before, like the clips don't be on, I'm, I, don't, I just don't know how to explain it, but the files were there. And I'm not really technical, I'm not really technological. You can't be pretty and good at technology. Well, you know what? Maybe you can. Eduardo's good at technology and she's pretty. <gasps> oh my god, that dog literally. Wanted to tell you there now. Honestly, I'm gonna sign her up to camps. What the fuck was that about? That was really bad. For the past month, I've been really like, well, well we just said we catch up and we're gonna do a QA, which is really, really fun, as you know, because it's a little video. Honestly, all I've been doing is working and getting up and going to the gym, and I haven't really been going out and like, well, I've been out and done stuff, but like, not as often as I have before. And I know what you're thinking, that's boring. You're boring, but actually, I. I'm um, hand on my heart the happiest I've ever been. And I'm like, oh my God, so what the doctor said, oh, sorry. Oh my God, so what the doctor says, like being in a good routine, eating healthy, going to the gym, going out walking, uh, you know, all that stuff actually works. And are you shaking a while off? Sorry, my camera holder. I actually did buy a new camera holder for like up there. She's supposed to have a better view of me. Cause down here, you're sort of getting the double chin. And uh, every time I watch my videos back, like there's a YouTube video. And I was like, guess which one? You can go back and see which one's missing. Then I have down because every time I clicked into it, I was like, I actually couldn't stand looking at myself whenever I was in the car in the beginning. I looked hideous, like I've never looked worse. And I was like, this isn't going out to the internet. But that was really vain to me. I'm sorry, but I wasn't really proud of it. I need to be proud of things about the more. I'm, I'm literally the biggest perfectionist ever. Sorry, I got the side side track there. All that stuff doesn't matter. What matters is what was I talking about? I don't even know what matters. I don't know what it is with the last few weeks. I always felt like, you know what? I always felt like I just needed to be doing. Like fun equals going out and drinking and being on it all weekend, every weekend, and doing all these crazy activities. But um, I think I've realized now that like being in like a really good routine, you know, like I really hope that it like carries over whenever I move to Belfast. And I'm, I'm hopefully going to be moving to Belfast full time and not coming home with the weekends, which is a bit scary because I've always worked in the town. So like I always like moved to Belfast during the week and came home and worked. So like I always see my family and stuff. But now I think I'm going to like be working in Belfast maybe over the weekends and stuff. So like I will be able to come home for like weeks on end so I'll be fully aesthetic here, which is really scaring me because yeah it's just, it's just a bit scary but like if I want to move away like next year and stuff I need to train myself so this is me training myself and I'm not going to lie I've been an anxious little mess thinking about it like an anxious mess wouldn't even be the word oh my god you keep moving positions so what I'm going to do is I actually don't know what I'm I actually don't know what I'm going to do I feel like I need like a coffee or like something I'm actually working at five and it's four o'clock so I would need to make a move on here Hi, what's the crack we all use anyways? I'm gonna vlog next week. I've got loads of, ex of exciting things coming up and holiday stuff and all and I'm gonna vlog it and I'm so glad I've got my phone started out and like I'm in a better mindset and you know life is life is really really good and yeah. Why did I go this way? I guess all I wanna get it why does everybody keep fucking looking at me? 
Um, I was like, I want to get a cost, and they went to the opposite side of the town to go back. Like, I don't really think, I don't really think I thought this through. Do you know apparently there's Starbucks on the Shabam? I don't know if it's rumors or not, but it's like opposite, like my current workplace, and I would spend so much money. Not that I'm not. I just said I was moving to Belfast full time, so it doesn't really matter. Who did I give away to? The right? Hmm. And not that it matters because I'm going back to Belfast, and there's a there's literally a Starbucks and Botanic, which is beside me anyways, but... And you know what? I'm not allowed to get coffee every day anymore because the Nescaf ones do you well. And I'm literally spending like four pounds on a coffee every single day. It's ridiculous. I'm so not ready to be scant up in Belfast. I'm so not ready to come to try and work as much as I possibly can. But I don't want to. I want to be a city girl and I want to shop in Urban Outfitters. And I want to drink Starbucks and go out for lunch and go out for cocktails and dinner. Like I'm, oh, I was made for the broke like student life, but you know what? I'll have one more year. Of loving like this, and then we're going to manifest. I get a marketing job in London, and that is what I do for the rest of my life. Found myself an Energizer Caramel Addict. I've fought, mm, I've been up since half five in the morning, so I need to be energized. And there's vitamins in it, so and there's protein. So, you know what? You're killing every bird that there is to kill it once to one, right? Sorted, parked. Uh, we would need to get a move on. I would need to keep a wee look at the time because I do have work. Um, uh, and why am I like Right, we'll get started anyways. So the first question is, uh, what does life look like in the next year for you? I actually really like this question because I was sort of getting on data already for you. Like I was sort of like already updating you, but so hopefully life in the next year looks like I'm obviously going to start and do my masters in Belfast and I do have a wee bit of anxiety over it because my last year experience wasn't the greatest. Sort of self inflicted a bit, like I, I didn't like go as often as maybe I should have and that is something that like I, I'm going to change with this time but I feel like I didn't go because like I didn't have any friends oh I swear to god see if I could have a second of the day where my sister doesn't ring and ask me to do her favours like it would be the day that hell actually freezes over got a lot of anxiety and like the main reason I've got a lot of anxiety like especially the last few days because it's like getting so near is because like obviously I was saying my last YouTube video and all like I just feel like I can get really overwhelmed and like obviously my first year uni whenever there was a big change happening, like, like, I'm coming into, like, another big change now, but, like, I sort of didn't take it well, and I'm just scared, but I know now that I've, like, grown up, and I'm more independent, and I, like, have so much more, like, self-awareness, and, like, stuff, and, like, I, I'm confident in it, but obviously, I just have wee fears that, like, I'm going to be living up Belfast, going to be working all the time, it's going to get, like, seasonal depression, and I'm going to, like, them girls are going to go on, like, a Thursday back to the town, and I'm going to be, like, living by myself and stuff, and, like, obviously, then I was chatting to Edward about it, and I, she, Edward is, like, so gentle with me but so firm and she was like you are literally worried about things that are like six months in the future you need to catch stuff on and I was like that's so true so I'm trying to calm myself down I am nervous for uni but um, I'm gonna have uni friends for the first time in my life like Laura and Emma are gonna be there my, all my uni classes like how fun is that I've never really had like well I had uni friends in my politics classes Laura Murray showed it to her like we were in, but like not really like uni friends that we were like in all of each other's classes and gonna be doing all the same thing <laughs> And that's sort of pathetic, but I actually have never had it before. I could have, like, I don't know, tried to speak to people. But on my last year, I did, like, more speak to people and meet people and all. But, oh, my God, like, for my first year, and I just was an anxiety run a little gal. So I just refused. But, like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be living up full time and being a silly girl. And I, I never really thought of myself as a beach girl. Every time I'd be all silly girl, I just think I'm doing quite. I feel like for a while, right, like, I sort of lost. Will, will we call it my sparkle i feel like for a while I, I like lost my sparkle and like i didn't know what was wrong with me but i wasn't myself and i wasn't feeling myself and like i just like i i don't know how to explain it but i just like wasn't myself at all and like i know my friends noticed it and stuff and then like i don't know i don't know what it was but i just was sort of going through it for a few months and then the last few months obviously like I, i've been really having like a healing girl summer and really focusing on myself and like I, I just feel like you know like for a while I wasn't really like on the Instagram I don't know if I said that before I just like didn't like myself enough to be posted to myself and like just didn't enjoy it anymore and it was like it turned into such a chore and I did I spit? didn't really want like it's obviously not something that you want to become a chore because at the end of the day I did it because it's a hobby and I that I, 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 you know, brands were sending me stuff and I just was like, oh no, like I, I don't want to post myself on Instagram, I don't want to be posting stuff up, like, it just was causing more hassle than it was causing me happiness, it was something I really loved and it, like, it's such a creative outlet and I just like, I'd let go of it for a while and I've really been getting into it again in the summer and I've got into the gym again and like, have been like, got into like doing things I love and meeting up with my friends like again more and 
I don't know, I just like feel more myself than I've ever been and I'm really, really happy and I'm so glad because I would tell you, it was just sort of like my sparkle had gone like, and always, I don't know if it's like a winter thing, like whenever you go into the winter, I know that like you sort of do, you have that like, you doll yourself down in the winter, but like I, there's just everything about me which is so like drained or something and like, I'm so glad that I've sort of came back to myself now and I'm really happy. So hope the next year but like brings more like, did you be like social media? Like obviously I love it so much and I would love to be given more opportunities and you know, put so much of myself into it. So I'm really hoping that I'll be like more successful for throughout the next year or so. And like, then I'm consistent with YouTube and like with TikTok and stuff. And it's something that makes me really, really happy. So if it's something I can be like making as a wee site hustle, which I have been able to do recently, then it's, it's even better. Like it's so much better because I want to be a city girl. And if it can, you know, be making me that wee bit extra and when I'm doing something that I love, then like it's obviously the dream. If anyone that is in Belfast and wants a wee friend, um, especially a few things on the weekend and wants to show me like proper like adult silly life in Belfast, honestly hit me up. We'll go for a coffee, we'll go for lunch, we'll go out in Cathedral Quarter, we'll go for cocktails. You can introduce me to your hot friends, <laughs> like text me. I'm just like, I'm just a phone call away, honestly, if someone wants to make friends. Okay, so next question is advice on how to make new friends because um, this girl in particular, all her friends are moving to Australia. She's got a really good job opportunity here that she can't miss out on. So she's staying and she's looking like, how do you make new friends in your 20s? And you know what? Like I was just saying there, and I don't know if um you want to take my advice because I just said I had no friends in uni. So you're probably like, Peppa Pig, hang up. Like you're literally turning off the YouTube video. Well, mm, I don't want to hear what you have to say. This is something like as well that I would like to you know, obviously be like going up Belfast and if I'm loving up full time and stuff. And sometimes I feel like very sheltered to like, Straban in many ways because like obviously like I just have my group of friends and I have such a good group of friends so like I just sort of stuck stuck to it but like I definitely think going up to Belfast now I would like to make new friends and you know what I think the number one thing is just to like text I don't even mean like text them like if you're so shy to text but like right let's meet up let's go out for drinks and stuff and put someone on the spot for that right do you know what I think is good advice for this maybe start off by like adding them into your close friends on Instagram or like adding them on Snapchat or just replying to a few Instagram stories. You know, that like there's people I go through Instagram and I'm like, oh my God, I feel like, I say like a lot, don't I? I feel like it's a Straban and Dairy thing, I'm really sorry. I feel like, oh, I'm going to be so conscious of me doing it now. There's loads of people that I feel like I would be really good friends with and maybe sometimes I would swipe up to their stories or text away at them like there was definitely people at the Michaels event I went to a few weeks ago that I met and I thought for months ago we would be friends and then we actually in person really gelled and had it off like there was definitely a few girls in general that I'm like oh my god like I could see it carrying on to being like a proper friendship and it's so nice see like we do in TikTok and put myself out so, oh, there so much on YouTube, or YouTube and social media. People come up to me nights out, like in Belfast, not as much like Straban and Derry, maybe just sometimes, but like in Belfast, and they'd be like, oh my God, like maybe I follow you or like I know you from somewhere. Or, and then we would start speaking and we would really have love and I'd be like, private story, no. And then I just like start texting them and it's just so nice. And like, if you ever see me on a night, I'd come up and speak to me because I uh, honestly, I feel like my friends get a bit frustrated with me sometimes because. I could just disappear with the people that I met five minutes ago. But I literally, like, I, this is how you make friends. You just have to sort of go for it and text them a few times on Instagram or swipe up to their stories. Maybe just add them on Snapchat and be like, right, like, private story, annoying. And that's, like, an even more intimate thing. And, you know, voicing on each other. And I don't know. I think maybe that's, like, the 2022, 2022 version of making friends. And I'm being like, hi, like, are you a boy trying to go for coffee? Honestly, it is, it is a bit difficult, but you just sort of have to put yourself out there a wee bit more. And I, I'm going to have to do the exact same when I'm on the same boat as you. Like, I, I've got loads of friends, but, like, if I'm going to be up, with, at, like, at the weekends on my own and stuff, I would like to have friends who are living in Belfast full time. And you're probably so emotional about, like, your friends moving away. And, like, I feel like especially at this age, everyone's got their own things going on. Like, you're saying you've got an amazing job opportunity, so you can't turn that down. And, like, your friends are just on a different stage of life to you, which is so weird about your 20s, honestly. Like, I would die. Like, I was sort of thinking about, like, there's a lot of change happening. Like, especially I'm leaving my job now the banks and I'm so emotional about it. Like, so emotional. And people are moving away. And people I'm so used to seeing day, every day I'm not going to see anymore. And, like, friends go off and do their own thing. It can just be such a scary thing. But, you know what? You'll adapt and it'll be fine. And just, like, text people. Text me. If Honestly, if you want to be my friend. Like, they ask that on Anonymous. But if you want to be my friend, text me, honestly. Next question is... Have you ever gotten butterflies from a boy? And the answer is no. No, I'm all joking. <laughs> that question also says the relationship status. I just feel like this is a good question to talk about. Nothing exciting going on just in case you were going to be like, oh my God, like 
Uh, has she got a new boyfriend? No, I don't. I feel like with me, right? I always felt like I needed to have a boy. Oh, tractor. Country girl of things. Never really thought of myself as a country girl. I was going steady really young, right? So I got I got into a relationship whenever I was fifteen, and it lasted around four years. It took me a long time for like me to stop like going back to him and seeing him all the time and stuff. And I, I like feel like I always had somebody there like whenever me and him went through stages of not speaking i always had to have another boy on the scene or like was seeing somebody or consistently texting somebody or like had like a fling or like a talking stage or something going on and then just was never ending and then like another talking stage and then i failed and i was like what's wrong with me what's wrong with me what's wrong with me like always be like no right that's it i'm gonna stay single and then i never actually go through with it and just this time like obviously i'm very freshly out of a relationship like i think it's literally three months I feel like this time I was like, no, like, honestly, if I really want to get older and I want to, like, be in, like, a really healthy relationship, I really want to be by myself for a while. I want to know myself, I want to be completely independent. And not only that, but I feel like when we start to like somebody, you start to, like, lower your worth. Like, for, like, say the more you like them, the more you're like, it's fine if they don't do this, it's fine if they don't do this, it's fine if they do this. Because you're, like, lowering your standards a bit because you really, really like them and you really want it to work out with them. But I want to be so set in my standards that... I'm, I'm willing to have like fun and potential and be single for the rest of my life because I will do that like it'd be like the last few months I'm like no I definitely could be the rich auntie I just want to be so secure in myself like I feel like I, I've always been a real insecure person right so I have always been like right like not like whoever I've been with no matter it's been I've always been like you, I don't deserve you I don't deserve you I don't deserve you I'm a catch let me tell you I, I and like no I am so caring like I will go out of my way for anybody like I am, see if I love you, I really, really love you, but like 100% of myself into somebody and I never feel like I get it back and it's just like really, really draining me and then I just feel like I want to stay single until somebody literally comes into my life and forces me to have no choice but to, but to have a relationship. Like, I feel like it would be really, really hard now to turn my head and they like make me even consider something, consider like, let's have a catch up. Like over the summer, above my last boyfriend, it was um, the very end of May and then over the summer, like, I just wanted to let myself, like, heal and be on my own. And I went out with one boy the whole summer. Well, we'll just be really honest. I went out with one boy the whole summer and I've seen him twice. Really want anything to come off anything at, the, at, the, at this moment in time. And if there's ever been any potential or if I've ever been, like, texting somebody, I just have, like, cut it off or... Like, I just haven't really, I don't know what it is. I just don't want anything at the minute. And like, usually I'm like, no, I need something. I need a fling. I need, like, do I need to be going and getting, getting a boy in the car and like going and driving to the beach and like doing this exciting thing. Like, oh my God. I don't know. I, 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 would, take a, I would take a real, like, I'll, don't get me wrong. Obviously, sometimes I'm like, I wouldn't mind being taken out on a date. Like, I wouldn't mind to be like, wind and dined or like something exciting. But like, the opportunity has arose for me to go out on a date. I've been like, oh no, like for, I'm working too much, but I actually am working too much. Like, there's just nothing, th there's nothing going on at the minute, but I, I just like don't want anything going on. So who knows? I just like, I couldn't even like, it's so weird, but I just couldn't even imagine myself going out and getting a boy now. I even imagine myself going out and getting a boy and like going on a date and oh, I don't know. I would need to start taking some people back in general if I, uh, yeah. but not that a lot of people take space anyways, because they don't like, they actually don't, so I just be like to myself, you know what, they're, they're intimidated, that's it, that's it, that's why nobody sex me, no other reason at all. But sometimes I really be scared that like, you know, like I put up, like I put myself out there so much on social media and I post loads and like, I'm so talkative and like shit, overshare on YouTube and like on TikTok and stuff and I'd be like, oh my god, like I feel like boys would sort of not be a day girl who would do stuff like that, so it sort of scares me sometimes that I'm never going to find it. I'm never going to like be going with someone but obviously there's somebody out there for everybody and that somebody won't really mind that and like you know what I feel like I, for my next boyfriend I would like someone who's like pure low key like not really into the social media scene because it would be a wee bit too chaotic we were both into it I would like a boy be like boys on Instagram followers maybe only a few pictures all of them of me it doesn't really need to be into being in my YouTube videos and all that. that's not really something am I having sweaty patches it's not really something that's important to me um I feel like I go for like really quiet boys like anyways like that would sort of be my type of quiet shy like sort of are you getting the vibes I should just go for like a real chaotic boy we should have a real chaotic relationship um so if you're real chaotic and you want like a wee ginger anxiety ridden girl text me but I'm not quite promised I'm going to text back or have time to see you ever I wouldn't mind getting myself like a wee county player <laughs> we like county player boy and like going to watch his Gaelic matches like I feel like that's the sort of vibe I'm going for like do you know or like a wag but I don't know there's just something about like 
do also wear my wee Ireland necklace. I don't know if I have it around the right way and I keep switching it up and I'm like, keep Googling pictures of Ireland to make sure if I'm around the right way, but no way it swaps in the mirror. So sorry if it's not around the right way. I'm a real disgrace to, um, real disgrace to the Irish nation. It's like a wee catch up on that section of my life for you. Right, so the next question is, how did you get into influencing? And this is a bit of a weird one. I feel like, see, right, like say if brands takes me and like obviously they're going to refer to you as like blogger or influencer and stuff, but like, I don't know, like, I don't know why I don't feel like the titles like, it's about weird, right? So the way that I actually got into doing social media and stuff was, like, posting. And, like, it's amazing now because there's, like, these brands and all that are wanting to work with me. And I'm just like, ah, what the fuck? Like, what the actual fuck? No. I just have a wee bit of imposter syndrome sometimes, especially going to those events and all. Because I just feel like so many people are so much bigger than me and stuff and all the rest. And it's just a bit weird. I literally got into it because during lockdown, I um, just started posting on Instagram a wee bit more. And, like, I was getting ready specifically to post on Instagram, doing my makeup to post on Instagram. Like posting on TikTok, like, just, like, I feel like everybody sort of did it, and then I kept it going after lockdown, and whenever you were allowed to go out and about, like, I started, like, or, like, over lockdown, and all this, like, surplus of money, so I was, like, ordering myself all these outfits, and then I was going and getting dressed, and going outside, and, like, taking pictures of myself in the outfit, and that, that is literally how I got into it. People started to, like, follow me for style, and I never really thought that, I never really thought about, sorry, I really need to stop doing that, but every time I say it, and even quality pops into my mind, I never really took myself as, like, somebody that would have a really good fa fashion sense ever like I never really thought people would look at me and think oh like she's got good fashion taste and then people started following me and asking me all of this stuff about clothes and stuff and then it just sort of got into it like that and then I every waking moment of the day I'm thinking about outfits and I'm going through ASOS and all I think about is what I'm going to wear and how I'm going to get money for clothes I'm not even joking so maybe it's good that I'm and he's doing clothes and stuff or and posting about clothes because it's all I think about I, like that's what I got into but it is a wee bit weird you know and like whenever then all of a sudden like you know see once you hit 10k it is like you obviously people start to offer to like pay you for stuff and all and like it's like uh like more bigger brands and all are like texting you and wanting to work with you and it is a wee bit weird I don't know I just feel like I have a bit of imposter syndrome sometimes and it is like I, I don't know I don't know I don't know how to explain it other than like I just wouldn't take myself as like like an influencer or stuff do you know what i mean i know that everybody probably says that but i really really don't well there i would be posting on instagram and get one like posting you should and get one view posting tiktok and get no views i'm posting it because this is literally such an outlet for me like i had not really the best morning this morning and i just i'm setting up talking getting everything off my chest like i just have feels in so much of a better mood and i've always been a creative person so like creating things no matter if it's like outfits like makeup like posting on youtube creating videos like creating tiktoks no matter what it is like, I, I just, I've always, since I've been, like, younger, I've always been a creative person. So, like, I always sort of knew I was going to get into doing stuff like this. But I want any advice and stuff. Like, I love whenever people text me and be like, oh, my God, like, convince me to do, do on YouTube. Or, like, ask me, like, what I do. And if you want, you know, I film on my phone. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I also take my Instagram pictures on this phone. And I literally just take my Instagram pictures and I would edit them on either Facetune too. So, like... See, like, the sharpen tool, the vibrance tool, everything using there, like, key for making your pictures look good quality because, you know, your phone can really dull them down. See, on just, like, normal iPhone, like, you can just edit your pictures on there. Like, that's why I would edit my pictures for Instagram. Or just even just put them into Instagram themselves and just edit them up. And um, for YouTube, I edit on iMovie. I edit on my phone. I upload from my phone. It's a bit of a fucking disaster. It takes forever. And it really gets on my nerves sometimes. But I, like, I'm so glad to be doing YouTube and all again. And I could talk for Ireland, honestly. And I, if I could imagine myself doing anything, I can imagine myself doing this. But I always knew I was going to do YouTube and stuff. Didn't think that I, that I just, I, I don't know how I even ended up getting, like, I think I have, like, 12.4 thousand followers now and i know that in the grand scheme of things compared to other like on instagram and in the grand scheme of things compared to other people that's not a lot but like it's just a wee bit weird to even one person wants to follow me or it's just a wee bit weird that people even take an interest or like whenever people be like oh and like they know details about your life like whenever you're talking to them and you're like what the fuck and they're like i know i just i just paid attention or watched you and you're like oh my god i sort of forget sometimes that i say things online and that people actually are paying attention to me so last question because i really 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 need to go the very very last question is how was your shaking your skills experience and i like you know what i had a really good shaking your school experience i was like it's like drama in school See, like, this is so weird because someone told me the other day that, like, uh, they were speaking to someone and they were like, oh, I don't know where this personality came from, from Billy McCormick, because she was so quiet in school. And I was like, what? Do people think I was quiet in school? Like, I thought that everyone thought I was the loudest, most annoying, dramatic person ever. Like, in my head in school, this is the way that I thought that people thought I was. Like, I thought that people thought I was just annoying and dramatic and, like, 
overbearing so like it's a wee bit weird to think that people thought that I was quiet and shy like and then like this person was like oh like I she was really shy and like now all of a sudden that I'm like so like out there and like maybe I was a wee bit shyer than I am now because you're always really into yourself in school but I don't think I was shy maybe I was but like I actually don't know because you obviously don't know what everyone's perception is of you I didn't have a bad experience experience in school at all like I had like a good second school experience older than my last year's school but older than my last year's school and my like seventh year but like I feel like for a lot of people they didn't really like their seventh year in school I don't know I had a lot going on in my seventh year in school and I just was like constantly unhappy and like got to the stage where I literally just walked out of school sorry holy cross teachers if you're watching this I did like I used to just walk out the music doors and drive myself home and like cry you know what my best memory is in school other than doing the school shows like we did Les Mis we did Jesus Christ Superstar I was in Beauty and the Beast like I do think they were my favourite memories like I was in like outside of school shows and like I just don't think I was ever happier than whenever I was doing those like as I said already I was like a creative person I've done drama since I was like a little toot and it's always something like I was, I love doing so 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 much and I always thought I thought I was going to go one day and then you know you get older and, and the careers advisor advisor be like don't go into that it's always like that was like my favorite experience in school and I actually don't think I had a worse experience but on my first day ever of school right I really need to fucking go to work my first day you know what we'll drive and we'll talk we'll like I so right on my first day. Oh, oh my god, that car came flying around that corner. My first day. Sorry, the sun's going on you, but whatever. I'm, I'm in a rush. First day ever of secondary school. We were like all like, we were in the canteen and we were all put under our classes. And then in your classes, you had to go into like the assembly hall thing and sit down. And I don't know, they were going to give you like a wee debrief of life in Holy Cross College. And we were all sitting down. And I was on the very, very, very age seats. Like everyone went in. I was only twelve. I was only eleven actually. And it was my first day of school, so I was nervous as it is. Some wee fucking bastard. And to this day, I actually don't know who it was. I don't even know who the class was. It was something behind me. Well, it honestly, takes me a while to if it was you. Um, I, I started not on the grudge, but um, I own up. Pulled my chair from behind me, so I was sitting down on my first day of secondary school using and he pulled my chair and like I fell on my bum in front of the whole assembly hall and everybody was looking at me and I remember like Niall McGinley um, and Kate Catley and like all my friends like from school were like I was like my first time ever meeting them and I had been to an old girls primary school so like this is my first interaction with like boys and like they were like oh, are you okay and I was like I'm gonna actually stab myself 20 times in the chest and I went out home to my mummy and I was like mummy I'm never going back and like screamed and cried during the or in the car and then she went into school and was like what the actual fuck is my daughter coming out like being a fucking hysteric scuffer and they were like oh don't know so that that was um that was it so that was probably my worst school experience ever it wasn't really that wasn't like the best first day at school i sort of thought that i was a wee loser in school i don't know what anyone else really thought of me i always thought like the full way through school is a bit of a creep people are probably watching this all yes i you actually probably were we so do I know what else happened to me? So I, my first ever period that I took was on my first day of second year. Yep, I don't really have a good track record, record for like first, first days, do I? No, I definitely don't. So my first ever period that I took was second year Oh, in school. I walked in and I kept saying to my mom, I don't feel well, but she thought I was trying to get out on the first day of school. And she kept telling you're nervous, you're nervous. And I was like, I'm not freaking nervous. I'm going to be watching my seats to see if someone's pulling them. I'm telling you, Nick, like, I'm not nervous. But in the school, walked in the double doors to the front of school and went, I'm going to vomit. And went into the bathroom and vomited everywhere. And my vagina was violently pushed and blood. Like, I mean, like, I obviously have really bad periods. And I don't know if I've ever spoke with this before. Like, I have really, really, really bad periods. To be honest, I think I've endo, but sure. I was in the doctor's today and she was like, I was, I'm still literally waiting on the doctor's appointment or the hospital appointment and like I don't know it's been moved from urgent and it's just a whole big mess I think the doctors is like that in general and I was violently vomiting they could not stop vomiting in the bathroom I went to the nurse and using something like a really bad periods I was bent over in pain like to this day I actually I've had two periods that's been as bad as this one but my first one was like the like I using someone whenever I tell you agonizing I mean you weren't able to like I shouldn't have been in school so I basically finished off the story I went to the nurse and she was like you're not going home you're trying to get out of your first day of school and I was like too shy to tell her I took my period like I was like I promise you I didn't take my period let me go home and then went she made me stay on the whole day and I remember Dia Gurm said her first memory of oh, was of me squealing crying in my head down in form class because isn't that much agony um so that's it for the day I really have to go um shout out to Gemma Brown she's always asked me to give me or give her a shout out at my youtube so here it is I'm so sorry because I'm coming in late but I actually was in traffic I promise I wasn't lying about that so um love you all so much literally and I'll see you so soon